Yeah, that's my life. I have one friend, Katie. Katie's the smartest person I know and the best athlete. She's also very level-headed about everything. Katie's helped me through this tough time I'm going through. Anyways, meet my mother, Gabriella. I never get to see my mother, but I guess it's understandable since she's the only person bringing in profit to our home. And that's me. Funky, but cool. Hi, everyone. So, um, this is my presentation of... Oh, gosh. I was terrible that day. But get this. The project was to do something that you love. And animation and drawing are something that I enjoy deeply. I decided that I'd display a true story for my class. Yes, Nicole? Correct. Um, may I continue? As um, you may have seen, that this animation was uh, presented in black and white with no color. This signifies something to me. This signifies, uh, so the man um, who was black was being pushed down by the white hands. And I believe that signifies the racism that is present in our world. We are living in the 21st century and uh, people still think that the racist is cool. This depicted a true story of my father, who is uh, a black man, and indeed black, he was a black man, and um, is the man in the animation. He was squished and more like shot, and the black puddle, his essence, was stepped by a child, and then spread his story. And that's what I'm here to do today, to spread his story. And yeah, that's how it went. The amount of courage it took me to say that was immense and all the confidence I had was burst by my lovely teacher. I stood there, looking like an idiot after she told me I couldn't pass a meaningful message on. It was humiliating. Hi honey, how was school today? Bad presentation today. Oh yeah, how did yours go? I bet everyone loved it. Nope. Miss Hall said that I couldn't show something like racism as a topic of discussion in the class. It was terrible. So you want to spread a message. Go ahead. Use your voice. Use your voice to tell your dad's story. Use the internet too, but safe, okay? That's a good idea. Yeah, that sounds great. Thanks for the suggestion, Mom. I'll do that. And that's how my whole life changed. I uploaded a video on YouTube. Basically, I explained how racism against African Americans is wrong and police brutality is awful. The fact that a cop couldn't tell whether my father was dangerous or not and decided to just shoot him speaks volumes of how our community still is. My video blew up. Suddenly, my message reached international headlines. Welcome back to Channel G7. As we speak, the discussion of whether Officer James Calvin should be convicted for the assault and murder of Patrick Walter is ongoing. The reason why this is taking place is due to Walter's brave daughter, Serena Walter. Her viral videos touched the hearts of many and sparked national outrage about whether Officer Calvin should be convicted or not. On the behalf of Channel G7, I wish Serena Walter the best in everything she wishes to do. And remember that Black Lives Matter. Unite folks and thank you. We'll see you tomorrow morning on Channel G7 News. And that's my story. Again, you know, funky but cool. My life got turned upside down.